today i'm super super mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys because today we're gonna be talking about the last episode of the confessions of franny layton what an amazing series this personally for me is one of the best like literally the best series you know released in 2022 and the fact that she is a lesbian character just makes it even better but before we get into more details please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and if you have watched the show let me know your personal thoughts regarding it down below in the comments i would really really you know like to know your point of view regarding everything because like in the previous videos that i've done regarding the series i will definitely say this one is a 10 out of a 10 i don't know if there's gonna be a season two because of everything that happened on the last episode but hopefully they can figure out the way to make a season two happen but if not you know i'm very happy with the series regardless of the ending you know because uh, it's actually based on a true story so you know it is what it is but amazing amazing series so let's not waste any more time so we will just be focusing on what happened between madame and franny if you guys want to know the full details regarding the trial and everything that went on i would definitely recommend you guys to go watch the show please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and let's get right into it so basically at the last episode of the show you can actually see friendly she's be uh friendly she's actually being trialed you know she's going through the the, the trial the testimonies her lawyer is fighting to, you know to prove her innocence you know there was a lot of ups and downs a lot of lies a lot of truths as well but as the episode progresses you can actually see everything that happened and how everything played out at the end so at the end of episode three you can actually see that the madame reached out to franny to ask her to come back to the house and and once you know franny came to the house she actually found out that the madame was pregnant and she was pregnant by the guy you know the color guy and when after that that caused a whole situation and according to the madame's husband you know he told the madame that she needs uh, that she needs to give the baby away to franny so franny can raise the baby and of course franny you know felt betrayed and she felt very very disappointed with madame because she thought that the madame asked her to come back to the house because for them to be together but no that was not the case she actually asked her to come back so that she can take care of the child because according to the madame her and her husband they were gonna move back to london and she can raise the kid because they will know the kid is not from her husband so that ended up causing a lot of situations and you know uh trauma to her so she felt like the only person that can take care of the baby and it wouldn't you know cause any uh uh, questions asked in public is if is the franny you know raised the baby because the baby will come out mixed so there won't be no questions asked about the you know uh about who the father is you know so after that whole situation happened of course franny felt very betrayed the madame because she was like i really thought you bought me back because you wanted to be with me but then you know the man the madame actually told her like um uh I only called you back because I really need you, you know, and all of that. But the madame also said, I can't, you know, uh, I can't raise this baby because if I if I decide to have the baby or raise the baby, my husband, you know, he will divorce me and he will take everything away from me and I can't raise the kid, you know. So friendly of course she felt a type of way regarding it because at this point she feels used but as the trial progresses the story starts to unfold unfold so what ended up happening actually is that the madame she had a miscarriage and during that that miscarriage friendly was actually with her and the reason why she had a miscarriage is because you, we all know that the madame she was had drinking a lot the this poison that she was drinking you know uh, alcohol beverage that she was drinking a lot and it either ended up causing her to have a miscarriage and this the whole night where the whole crime situation happened so one end up happening is that you know franny goes downstairs and asks her husband for help because she saw how much you know the madame was in pain she was suffering they needed to call a doctor and the madame's husband actually said that no i won't call a doctor because once the doctor come he will see what's going on he will see that she had a miscarriage he will see you know everything that went on behind him and i can have that in this house in this family so you know franny out of uh um, madness and out of everything that she already has against uh the 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 you know the madame's husband she was like you know in a matter of anger she was also drinking she also had drank and you know she ended up stabbing him and taking his life away but she ended up confessing this only at the end of the episode that she actually did take you know the madame's husband lives away but she didn't 
didn't take the madame's life over the madame actually you know passed away over the over over an overdose of constantly constantly consuming the, the the drink that she was consuming and at one point friendly felt like she was the one who took her life away but at the end you know she didn't but she still got blamed and she still got found guilty for committing both of the crimes so she ended up being sentenced uh, to death you know so very you know very very difficult because according to what they were saying is that if you take a life your life have to be taken so that's actually what ended up happening there she has a very very good friend who was trying to help her prove her innocence but at the end of the day friend it took things into her, her own hands and you know and spoke her whole truth the only truth that she didn't speak was actually the fact that the madame was pregnant by the guy you know so and the, the guy actually ended up you know thanking her and saying thank you so much for not telling her you know them telling the trial that about her pregnancy because i know how much they would affect that everything so thank you for keeping that and you know friendly ended up saying i didn't tell them about it because i don't know the full story about it but according to what i you know i was reading i don't feel like this is gonna be a season so very very unfortunate but and at the end of the day you know franny she doesn't feel no guilt for doing for what she did because she felt like she had to do it because we all know that the madame's husband is a very very evil man but also one thing that i didn't like is the fact that nobody actually blamed madame also for her actions because she wasn't also the best person she you know she emotionally manipulated a lot of people like for example that friend that she has that i also don't like her at all and that also the guy that she got pregnant with and also friendly i feel like she emotionally found a way to trigger people to her you know and make them very very attached to her to end up doing whatever she wants them to do and friendly ended up being caught up in this as well you know this is just my point of view because i feel like everybody was blaming her husband because her husband is a very horrible person and i get it but nobody talk also about the behaviors and the actions that the madame was having like the fact that the madame went to get pregnant and she asked friendly to come back to take care of the baby and then she got mad at friendly for friendly telling her that she is in no health state or mental state to take care of a baby and she got upset or fr to friend you know with friendly force for speaking the truth you know i just feel like they sh uh madame the madame should also take more accountability of her action you know and not only always like pay the victim card because that's the card that she was playing all the season you know but just because of everything that she was going through with her husband and we get it you know but you can always you can't always just blame the victim card you also have to take uh, you know accountability for what you did like exactly what what friendly did at the end she spoke her truth she spoke everything that happened you know and she was like okay i did what i did i don't regret it because I, I had to step up for myself i had to step up for my people and i did what i did you know that's taking accountability but i just feel like the madame she didn't take no accountability at all she always played the victim card i'm not saying she didn't love Franny because Franny wanted to run away with her even after the whole uh miscarriage situation happened but the but then the madame said then where are we gonna go live like in the in like basically sitting like in a in a rural area by the ocean like basically I'm, I'm not i'm not worth that lifestyle you know so let me know your thoughts down below in the comments regarding the situation very very amazing show if